Imagine each morning not merely as the beginning of another day, but as the unfolding of a divine symphony with each note resonating with the melody of God's promises. As you awaken to the dawn's gentle embrace, feel the warmth of His love enveloping you, infusing every moment with hope and purpose. Now imagine your words as seeds sown into the fertile soil of your life, each one carrying the potential to sprout into a bountiful harvest that will either add to that symphony or take away from it. You see, with each declaration and word you speak, you co-author your story with the creator of the universe, shaping your destiny with the power of faith and intention. What I'm describing is not just about speaking words to get what you want from life, but about filling your heart with the rhythm of heaven, allowing his truth to permeate every fiber of your being. In the grand tapestry of existence, each day unfolds as a masterpiece waiting to be painted, with every stroke of your words adding depth and color to the canvas of your life. Why is this so? Because, dear one, you are made in the image of God, and how did God create the universe? By speaking. So us who are made in His image, with each word we speak, can be painting a portrait of victory, proclaiming the triumph of light over darkness, or we can also be creating bondage and giving place to the devil. As it is written, life and death is in the power of the tongue. So your words are not just idle sounds, but living, breathing entities, carrying the very essence of your soul into the world and are an actual creative force for life or evil. As we will be talking today about speaking life into your circumstances, you are not denying the reality of challenges, but embracing the truth that lies beyond them. You are choosing to see with the eyes of faith to perceive the unseen realm where all things are possible at the end of this message when we will pray a prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. We will be praying that this unseen realm will be open to you, so be sure to stay till then and pray with us. With each declaration and spoken prayer, you are tapping into the boundless reservoir of God's grace, drawing strength from His unfailing love and provision, and slowly shaping your reality into what God would desire it to be. Now we know that trees take time to grow, and Proverbs 15.4 compares our words to that of a tree. A gentle tongue is a tree of life. So we must carefully consider the ripple effect of your words over the long term as they reverberate throughout the universe, touching hearts and transforming lives. Like a pebble dropped into a pond, your positive affirmations send out waves of healing and restoration, bringing comfort to the weary and hope to the oppressed. Your words can shape destinies, inspire greatness and ignite the flames of revival. Matthew 12.37 warns us, For by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. In the sanctuary of your soul, let your words be a sweet incense rising to the heavens, a fragrant offering of praise and thanksgiving. With each breath let gratitude flow from your lips like a river, washing away all fear and doubt. For in the presence of the Almighty there is fullness of joy and in his hand there is abundant life. So, my dear friends, let us not underestimate the power of our words. Let us speak boldly and confidently, knowing that our declarations can move mountains and part seas. Let us declare with confidence the promises of God, for in him all things are possible. Let us not grow weary in our good deeds, but press on toward the prize that awaits us. Let us use our words to overcome every obstacle and conquer every foe, for we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. As we face life's trials and tribulations, let us remember that they are but temporary fleeting shadows in the light of eternity. Let us hold fast to God's promises, knowing that he who has begun a good work in us will be faithful to complete it. For in him we find our strength, hope and victory. As we continue speaking life into our circumstances, let us explore how our words can shape our reality and impact those around us. 
As Proverbs 12.18 states, there is one whose rash words are like sword thrusts, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Consider the power of a simple compliment to brighten someone's day, or the encouragement of a heartfelt prayer to uplift a weary soul. Our words can build up or tear down, heal or wound, and we must wield them wisely. Think of the last time someone spoke life into your circumstances, offering a word of encouragement or a timely reminder of God's faithfulness. Recall how that simple act of kindness lifted your spirits and renewed your hope, reminding you that you are not alone in your struggles. Now consider how you can pay it forward, extending the same grace and compassion to those around you who need a word of encouragement. In our fast-paced world filled with noise and distraction, it's easy to overlook the significance of our words and the impact they can have on others and ourselves. But if we pause for a moment to reflect on the power of speech, we will realize that our words can shape destinies, inspire greatness, and bring light into the darkest corners of our world. We may even bring health and vitality to our lives and others, as Proverbs 16.24 shows, gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. As we delve deeper into the spiritual significance of speaking blessings, let us first recognize the profound trust it embodies in God's ability to orchestrate every circumstance for our ultimate good. Romans 8.28 serves as a beacon of assurance, reminding us that even amid trials, God is at work, weaving together every thread of our lives into a tapestry of His divine purpose. Imagine the shift in perspective that occurs when we boldly declare, I am more than a conqueror through Him who loves me. In moments of adversity, such declarations uplift our spirits and anchor us in the unshakable truth of God's promises, providing a steadfast foundation upon which to stand. By consistently speaking blessings over our lives, we engage in a spiritual discipline that fortifies our souls and builds endurance for the journey ahead. This practice trains us to maintain a heavenly perspective enabling us to navigate life's challenges gracefully and confidently. Like a muscle strengthened through exercise, the more we engage in speaking blessings, the more resilient and steadfast our faith becomes. Notice that this is a process that happens on a moment-by-moment -moment basis. As it says in Luke 6.45, the good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good, and the evil person out of his evil treasure produces evil, for out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. Moreover, our declarations carry a prophetic potency, aligning our words with God's sovereign will as revealed in Scripture. Isaiah 55.11 illustrates the profound impact of spoken blessings, affirming that God's word never returns void but accomplishes his purposes. As we align our declarations with the truth of Scripture, we become vessels through which God's plans and promises manifest in our lives and those around us. Integrating declaring blessings into our daily prayer life fosters a deeper intimacy with God and strengthens our connection to His divine purposes. In times of trial, incorporating declarations of faith into our prayers reinforces our trust in God's sovereignty. It is a powerful reminder of our identity as beloved children of the Most High. Furthermore, as we intercede for others facing their challenges, speaking blessings over them becomes an act of love and compassion, extending the transformative power of God's grace into their lives. As Ephesians 4.29 commands, Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. Embracing a lifestyle of blessings enriches our personal faith journey and fosters an atmosphere of faith in our homes, workplaces and communities. When others witness us speaking blessings instead of, as Colossians 4.6 commands us, let your speech always be gracious, 
seasoned with salt so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. This transformative practice empowers us to transcend the limitations of our circumstances and embrace a perspective infused with hope and gratitude. While it may not alter the nature of the challenges we face, it equips us to navigate them with courage and resilience, knowing that we are held secure in the loving embrace of our Heavenly Father. As we cultivate a lifestyle of blessings, it becomes more than a mere habit. It becomes a fundamental aspect of our worldview. With each word we speak, we embed a deep sense of God's providence and presence in our daily lives, transforming ordinary moments into sacred encounters with the divine. Consider the profound impact of carrying a spirit of blessing into every interaction and decision, infusing each moment with the transformative power of God's love. Whether in the workplace, the home or the community, let us be intentional about speaking life and blessing into every situation, knowing that our words can shape destinies and usher in God's kingdom on earth. Furthermore, Coupling blessings with thanksgiving amplifies its effectiveness, grounding our declarations in a spirit of gratitude that transcends circumstances. As we offer up prayers of thanksgiving in conjunction with our declarations of blessing, we release a powerful spiritual synergy that ushers in the peace and joy of God's presence, guarding our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. However, as we embark on this journey of embracing a lifestyle of blessings, let us remain vigilant in guarding the authenticity of our words. Our declarations should stem from a heart genuinely aligned with God's will, reflecting a sincere belief in His promises and goodness. Regular self-reflection and adjustment of our speech patterns are essential to ensure that our words consistently reflect the truth of God's word and the authenticity of our faith. David was probably thinking of something like this when he wrote, Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. My dear friends, let us embrace the transformative power of speaking blessings into our lives and the lives of those around us. As we step forward in faith, remember that each word we speak is a seed planted for our future and the kingdom of God. With hearts overflowing with gratitude and mouths filled with praise, let us declare God's goodness and faithfulness, knowing that all things are possible in Him. Embark on this daily journey with a heart eager to affirm the unwavering promises of God envisioning each morning as a canvas awaiting the brushstrokes of divine blessings. Recall the timeless wisdom of Lamentations 3.22.23, where the steadfast love and mercies of the Lord greet us anew each day, a testament to His unfailing faithfulness. Let this truth be the cornerstone upon which you build your declarations, fortified by the assurance of His enduring grace. With each new day, Engage in the spiritual warfare of spoken blessings, reclaiming territory from doubt, fear, and despair with the power of your words. Declare boldly that you are more than a conqueror through the boundless love of Christ, and affirm your identity as one blessed and highly favored in every aspect of life. Stand firm on the unshakable promises of God, knowing that no weapon formed against you shall prosper in the light of His sovereignty. Envision the profound impact of living under the canopy of divine assurances where your life becomes a radiant beacon of hope and a living testimony to God's goodness. As you infuse your daily interactions with the power of spoken blessings, you become a conduit of His love and light, illuminating the path for others to follow. Your words become instruments of healing and restoration, bringing comfort to the brokenhearted, lifting the spirits of the downtrodden, and igniting hope in the weary. Furthermore, recognize how daily declarations fortify you against life's inevitable trials, shaping your perspective to embrace challenges as opportunities for growth and refinement. 
In the words of James 1, 2, 3, rejoice in the knowledge that the testing of your faith produces perseverance, anchoring your soul in the unwavering truth of God's redemptive power. As you journey forward, let your life resound with the echoes of God's promises, a living testament to His transformative grace. Arm yourself with the Word of God, wielding it as a mighty sword of blessing in every circumstance and interaction. Watch as the landscape of your life and those around you blossoms under the nurturing care of His favor and provision. And now, as we unite in prayer, let us join our hearts in communion with the Almighty, inviting His blessings to saturate every aspect of our lives. May His presence fill us with peace, His love envelop us in warmth, and His favor accompany us on our journey each step of the way. Let us pray. Gracious and loving Father, we humbly come before Your throne with hearts overflowing with praise and thanksgiving. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the creator of all things, and the source of every blessing we receive. Your presence fills us with joy and your majesty illuminates the heavens and the earth. We exalt your holy name, for you alone are worthy of all honor and glory. Thank you, Lord, for your unfailing grace and mercy that greet us anew each morning. We are grateful for the continuous provision protection and peace you bestow upon us. In this sacred moment of prayer, we seek your forgiveness for our transgressions and shortcomings. Wash us clean, O Lord, and grant us the strength to forgive those who wronged us, releasing all bitterness and resentment into your loving hands. Lord, we boldly declare your promises over our lives, knowing that you are faithful in fulfilling them. We declare that we are blessed in our coming and going, shielded by your mighty hand and sheltered beneath your wings. We declare divine favor and success in every endeavor, trusting in your sovereign will. We rebuke every force of darkness that seeks to rob us of our peace and joy, standing firm in the authority of Jesus' name. We claim healing and restoration for our bodies, minds and spirits, declaring that we are made whole by the stripes of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for rejuvenating our bodies, calming our minds and strengthening our spirits against all affliction. We declare that we are more than conquerors through Christ who strengthens us, and we walk in victory over every obstacle that may arise. Expand our territories, O Lord, and bless us abundantly so that we may bless others. Guard us from all evil and deliver us from temptation, guiding us along righteousness for your name's sake. We break every chain that binds us and claim victory over every enemy scheme. As we unite in prayer, we lift every heart and every need represented here. May your promises manifest in their lives, bringing forth blessings beyond measure. Together, we declare your victory over every trial and tribulation, for you are our refuge and strength. Our families, finances, and relationships prosper under your divine favor and guidance. Let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven, and may your kingdom reign supreme now and always. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, amen. Please type amen in the comments below if this prayer has touched your heart. We declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you, in Jesus' name. You can help spread the gospel by sharing this message with a friend or family member who needs to experience the power of prayer. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more uplifting content. We appreciate your support. For those who are listening and feel the stirring of their hearts to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, I extend a heartfelt invitation to embrace God's grace with openness and repentance. Regardless of where you've been or what you've done, know that Jesus came to seek and save the lost, and His love for you knows no bounds. It is not the will of God that anyone should perish, but that all should come to repentance and experience the fullness of His salvation. If you desire to make this life-changing decision, I encourage you to say this simple prayer from your heart. 
Dear Lord Jesus, I recognize that I am a sinner and humbly ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose again from the dead. I turn away from my past and invite you to come into my heart and guide my life. I choose to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. As you utter these words, know that you are making a profound declaration of faith, inviting Jesus to transform your life and lead you on a journey of grace and redemption. Having prayed this prayer, I encourage you to take the next step by seeking baptism at a local church and publicly declaring your decision to follow Jesus. Baptism symbolizes your commitment to Him and marks the beginning of your new life in Christ. Furthermore, I urge you to connect with other believers and engage in fellowship where you can grow in your understanding of your newfound faith and deepen your relationship with God. Feel free to share your prayer requests in the comments section. We will join together in lifting them up before the Lord, believing in His power to bring comfort, healing, and guidance. Even if you don't receive a direct response to your prayer request, rest assured that each one is being fervently lifted to God following His perfect will. We believe in the transformative power of prayer and give God all glory for His faithfulness and grace. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always, guiding you on this journey of faith and blessing you abundantly as you walk in His love. Amen.